I'm actually not a real woodpecker. I'm actually in disguise today looking for signs of bird life here in Geauga County. My real name is John Kolar and I'm the chief naturalist for the Geauga Park District. Shh. You know, I love so many things about nature. I consider myself to be a member of the Nature Nut Club. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you know, if I had to pick, one of my favorite things about nature is birds. And the songs that they're singing in the spring and early summer, oh, they're just music to my ears. Beautiful music to my ears. Today, we're going to discover some of those amazing melodies that come out of those tiny little lungs. Do you trust me? Well, then follow me. So why would you want to learn bird songs in the first place? First of all, we are very fortunate to live in Geauga County, which has a rich diversity of bird life. So if you know the bird songs, it gives you a better chance to see some of these amazing birds. Plus, many birds forage totally hidden from view. Some of them look very similar to one another. So if you're able to recognize their songs, it brings your birding skills up to a whole nother level. The excuses. I'd love to, but I uh, just don't have the ability to memorize all those facts or names or all the bird songs. Most people have the same capacity for memory. It's most likely that you have a bad uh, memorizing technique that you're using. I'm too old to memorize anything anymore. Just too old. Studies have shown that although it might take people over the age of 50 a little bit longer to memorize things, the retention ability of both old and young people appears to be about the same. I just couldn't take the time. If you can dedicate 15 minutes a day, you'd be amazed at the variety of bird songs that you can learn. So what's the difference between a song and a call? Well, calls are made year round and they're typically a friendly sort of thing, a, a communication between birds of a similar species. Like, hey, there's food over here. Hey guys, what's going on? Or, hey, oh, there's a predator over here. Those are calls. Can you identify this bird? Very common bird here in Geauga County, the black-capped chickadee. Here's what its call sounds like. Now songs, on the other hand, are made most of the time in the springtime and the early summer. They're often made by the males and they are meant to announce a territory and they'll also serve as a, a breeding call. Hey ladies, I'm available, that sort of thing. Um, the, the song typically will let the female birds in the area know that you know the, the bird's age, its breeding condition, whether it's a male or a female. And um, this is the black-capped chickadee again and this is what its song sounds like. In reality, that song is saying, Men of the area, stay out! This is my territory! And that song also tells the available females, I'm a three-year-old black-capped chickadee, and I'm available! Come to me! <laughs> a few tips for you for learning bird songs. First of all, memorize the common bird songs first. So when you're out in the parks or even in your own yard and you're hearing a lot of common birds, try to get those ones down first. And also learn them in small bites. Don't try to memorize too much at one time. Another tip would be to use mnemonic phrases. Find phrases that you might use in the English language that have the same number of syllables as the bird song you're hearing and put the two together. For example, that black-capped chickadee, remember that song? The two-noted song sounds like, you hear it? Kind of sounds like it's saying, spring's here, spring's here. It also has a three-noted song that kind of sounds like, can you hear it? Kind of sounds like it's saying, Cheeseburger! Cheeseburger! Che uh, okay, I'll, I'll stop. Sorry. <laughs> I just get so into these birds. It's amazing. Um, another technique would be to watch the birds singing the song themselves. Bring a pair of binoculars out with you. Try to find that bird making that beautiful melody and watch it sing. It'll stick better in your head. Last but not least, take advantage of the wide variety of uh, resources there are online. Also recordings of bird songs. Listen to them in, in, in your car, wherever you can to get those bird songs in your head so when you hear them outside, you're able to identify them. All right, are you ready for a little bird song game? I know I am. Oh, yeah. What we have here pictured um, to the sides are eight common birds that you can find throughout Geauga County. What's going to happen is we're going to play a song 
one at a time of each of these birds to see if you can guess what bird is making that song. So, we'll start off with song number one. You better get this one right. I hope you guessed black cap chickadee on that one. Song number two. If you guessed Northern Cardinal, you are on fire. Song number three. <sighs> that would be the tufted titmouse. Song number four. <sighs> that would be the American Robin. Song number five. <sighs> the red winged blackbird. Song number six, that would be the American goldfinch. Yep, beautiful bird. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, song number seven, chipping sparrow. Did you get that one right? Did you? Did you? And last but not least, song number eight. That my friends, would be the Eastern Phoebe. So how'd you do? Did you get all of them right? Maybe you didn't get so many right? Keep practicing. You'll get better. Learning bird songs takes practice, perseverance, and a good bit of patience. The key, my friends, is to make the commitment, and the payoffs are well worth it. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nature nut. I just love nature, but you know, there's just so many amazing things left to discover, and so little time yet to discover them. We'll see you next time.